Hello beautiful people and welcome to your weekly guidance for the collective and this is for the week of March the 7th through to the 13th. All right in last week's the 28th of February the message for the collective was very strongly about benediction sending out love and support and care. The energy was all about releasing transmuting and we know what happened last week on the world stage. There's a lot of fear around what is going on we don't need to go into detail on it but it's essential at the moment that we do not add to the fear I know many are feeling very heavy and very negative there is a heavy energy because of what's going on in the world because there's so much fear so the message from above is to please instead of sending more fear into fear which just grows the fear obviously what we're wanting to do at this time is send love and peace into the fear the danger the war just send love and peace and support into the collective energy and visualize it they're giving me an image of all this love and peace being sent out raining down a beautiful light loving energy on all and that is what we are needing at this time all right so this collective reading is for the week of the sevens there will be the announcement of uh, the winner at the end so do stay tuned to the end for last week's giveaway and i'll let you know who i've been guided to choose for that and if you want to be in with an opportunity to win a free giveaway the information is in the description box below all you need to do is comment on this video and subscribe all right let's have a look then what is the message for this week for the collective and the importance that we need to be doing and thinking about this week all right so i'm going to get all the cards out mm, there we go look and then we will see what is going on that's the orphan card coming in from the unicorns the violet flame oh this is so making sense and from the angels what is the message for the collective for this week from the angels please Raziel with dreams and this is the oracle of the angels higher consciousness and the message is for the tarot, please, for the collective, for this week of the seventh. Message for the collective, please. Magician. King of Cups. The World. The Emperor. The Ten of Wands. And the Hanging Man. All right. Let's have a look at this then together. So as I was saying there, as soon as I tuned into the energy for this week, they asked me to remind you of the message for last week, which is about releasing and staying positive and putting love. Now, the first card out from the Wisdom of the Oracle, this orphaned card, many people at the moment feeling alone, unsupported, nobody's there for me, this is hard, this is a struggle, it's a dark, heavy energy. But it's a number five, and five is about change. So how can we change this energy for those that are feeling in this space? And the answer is clearly here from the unicorns, the violet flame. Invoke the cosmic diamond violet flame, transmute all that is not love. Now I've been working with the violet flame since about mm, 2002. The violet flame is the most powerful anti-negative force in the universe, in the multiverse. And literally is what it says on the tin here. Visualize violet light, violet energy, a violet flame coming in and around you to transmute all that is not love. That's all your fear, all your doubts, all your insecurities. You do you first and then you send that violet flame across the globe, across the world. Send it to anywhere, everywhere, into the planet, into the sky, into the energy of the universe, that all that is not love is transmuting and dissolving. 
when enough people focus on the same energy it is miraculous and it can achieve amazing things all right so that's the advice here coming in and to step into your higher consciousness your I am presence, your soul source energy, your connection to source, sending out love and energy from a higher place. When we're in our higher consciousness, we are light, we are love and we are power. So send out that light across the world and into your own world because everything starts with you and dream big dream again we have the violet light here dream of peace dream of resolution dream of uh, everything that we need to to invoke and to allow we have this third eye chakra here all right this beautiful indigo energy i am visualizing peace across the world i am visualizing love across the world. I am visualizing a oneness. We are one. What we do to another, we do to ourself. We are one. And from the tarot, we have the magician with the emperor. Now, two major arcana, very, very powerful. You are the magician. You have the ability to create anything if you truly believe that you have. Now, the emperor is that power to step into your authority. Now, as I feel into this, it's so strong. This is a plea coming in from the multiverses that we, the collective, have the power to transmute this stuff that's going on. So know your power, know what you can do within your own life and across the collective. You are incredibly powerful. You are the emperor. You can bridge the gap from what is to what you want it to be. You can use alchemy with that magician energy to create a planet, a life, a world of peace and love. Let's transmute this crap, people. We can do it. We're in this power, power to create compassion. The King of Cups is predominantly about compassion sending love into the waves, into the turbulence, sending compassion and care to end the struggle, the burden, the heaviness of that Ten of Wands that so many people are experiencing. I know, I mean, I feel energy is incredibly sensitive to all energies, obviously, because I'm an energy worker. And the energy last week was so heavy. It was just oh, such a burden. So we transmute it, we release it with compassion and with love. And as we do that, we are moving towards the completion, the ending of this struggle that is being experienced by the world at the moment. Now, the hanging man says it's going to take a little bit of time and we want to surrender surrender to mm, trying to control the narrative, trying to mm, surrender the fear, surrender the frustration, surrender the anger, because all that does is add in more and all of those are not the energies that we want. So we are looking for creating the end to the struggle by surrendering and by looking at it upside down and saying that I have the power to transmute everything that I need to transmute that is not love into peace, into harmony, into the collective consciousness. You can also be there asking me to tell you, you can also connect in with universal forces, galactic forces for peace and <clears throat> command Mm. I am invoking peaceful energy across Gaia, across planet Earth. I am transmuting all that is not love. I am part of the solution, not the problem. I am in my higher consciousness dreaming of a peaceful, loving resolution. And I am using that violet flame to transmute and move into compassion and love and harmony across the globe. I don't often get political, as you know. We want to, when we're working 
um, with a spiritual self to rise above what goes on politically but this is different at the moment and the universe is telling me this is different and we all need to come together to send out this love those of you that can do meditations across sending that out please do and allow yourself to know your power to transmute and step into that power to transmute that which is not love all right my beautiful people that is the message for this week and the winner from the 28th of february's uh, collective reading is mary louise wood who would like to have the hypnosis on lose weight feel great and mary louise wood if you would please click on my website the link is below and send me a contact um, so I have your email address I can send you the link to that hypnosis which will help you all right my beautiful people have an amazing week stay out of the fear stay in the love and I am sending you much love take care bye bye